Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Elk Guide. Thank you for joining me, Mrs. Real Elk Guide. Are you yeah. taking them? Um, we've got a very special beer that they sent from Chad's Beer Reviews, Chad9976 on YouTube. Check him out. There's the bottle cap. It's Southern Tears Chocolate, Imperial Chocolate Stout. Um, if this is anything like I'm so excited about this. Well, yeah, you, I am too. Really, really excited. If this Let's is anything... The mocha. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, go on. Hopefully. I can't wait. Brilliant. Because what I liked about the mocha so much was the chocolate element. Mm. And this is the chocolate. Um, it's 10% ABV. Let's, cr let's crack it open. Chad wanted to send, um, I'll do your class first, Chad wanted to send, oh look at that, he's been wanting to send this for ages but it just hasn't come out, I'm going to fill you up a nice glass full of that, exactly half pint, look at the quality, nice carbonation, lovely small, thank you, chocolate, look about the beer, let's get this in, Oh, it smells good. Look at that. Absolutely smashing. Oh. Colour, Mel? Colour. Colour, it's really dark, really isn't it? Really dark, yes. But it's dark in a way, um, when you were pouring it, it was almost dark without the milky, mm. the milkiness that you get. Yeah. On others, it, it seemed dark without that. Yeah. If that makes sense. A uh, nice tanned, coloured chocolate kind of yeah. head, yeah, yeah. On that. Should we get the nose? Cheers. Very excited about this. Oh, it smells oh like when goodness. you open your box of roses on Christmas morning. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that really like is chocolate in a glass. Yeah. Like a beautiful chocolate liqueur smell. It smells um bit it's like a bitter chocolate as well. It's like milk and like a bitterness to it. It's like it's like a box of chocolates, isn't it? Where you've got the mm. you've got your milk chocolates, your yeah. dark chocolates and, and your liqueur chocolates and the scent where they are all mixed in together. It smells like that. I've watched I think I I've re watched Chad review this about three times and he oh. just I think it's his favourite beer of all time, maybe. <laughs> it's just... It smells so sweet. Okay, I'm ready to dig in. I cannot wait anymore. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Chad. Cheers, Chad. Oh, oh my word. I can't believe that. Oh. Stone the Crows, oh. Stone the Crows, that is mighty, that is mighty. It's a lovely, lovely mouthfeel. It's thick as well, isn't it's it? It's thick, like creamy. It's velvety, it's velvety in your mouth. Mm. It's like creamy, it's, it's like liquid really, chocolate. really is, like glides down your throat. On your palate there's a massive, massive chocolate, but milky, kind of bittery chocolate going on. But you're on about taste, right? In the taste. The taste, right then. <sighs> Hold it in your mouth. It's sweet. It's bitter. Yeah. There's also a nice hit of coffee. Maybe that's really the bitterness of the chocolate. But it's the dark. Yeah, it was cocoa, I think. The cocoa mixing very well with the dark malts, maybe. Yeah. With the roasted, yeah. Yeah, with them roasted. There's definitely a roasted flavour in there. Mm. It's very bitter, though, isn't it? That's my weak point, you see. I'm. I struggle when I come against bitter, bitter beers. Oh. But I think this balances out because it mm. tastes so 
blooming good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as Mal said, she's not overly keen on bitterness. I actually like it. I actually prefer bitterness to sweet. So it's a great combination to review this together because I do like the sweetness. I appreciate it. You you love it. I really appreciate the bitterness too that goes with it. Pardon me. So, um, I I I reviewed a beer just the other day called Six Points Bengali Tiger, and I thought that was going to be my beer of the year, twenty twelve. Mm. But <laughs> I just don't know now. Again, I just don't know. It's giving me a very sticky mouthfeel then. Mm. On my lips. But look. Rocking the beer back and forth. Look at the quality of the lacing. Yeah, I have noticed that. Let's give it a, a whirl round. I, I cannot put into words how special an occasion this is for me personally because I've been, I've been watching these Southern Tier chocolate reviews for so long. I think Chad's done oh, about three. How jealous have we been? Uh, yeah, it's. it's, it's it's a it's a want, it's a need, it's a like a I would love to get that beer kind of um yeah, jealousy if you like and, and it's just great to to get it. It's great to drink it. Now in terms of it if you were to buy a bottle of that, Mrs. Real Ale Guide. Yeah. Um do you think you could enjoy that over an evening or do you think it would become slightly too too much after a time or? For me it would, but that's like I said because of the mm. bitterness content. Um, does it say the IBU on it? Is it IBU? It is IBUs, I'm not sure the IBUs are on there. No, they're not on this one. But what a range, Southern Tier, Southern tier Brew. We oh, massive, reviewed absolutely massive. Again. My beer of last year was their double IPA. Oh wow. 2x IPA. That just blew me away. But then you've got double IPAs, IPAs, you've got pumpkin ales, you've got chocolate beers. It's just... I'd really like to know what the um, bitterness level was. It's down here. Perhaps we should Google it. It's um, a 650ml bottle. Oh no, what I should mention is it's part of their Blackwater series. There you go. If you want to take a bit of time to read that out. Actually, would you like to, um, while I enjoy this, would you like to read out some of the contents okay. on the back? You've done this because there's words that we can't mm. pronounce. Um, oh, it's wonderful. The Popol Vu, the sacred book of the mayor, unfolds a com complex web of mystery around the beverage known as Chocatl. Chocatl? At Southern Tier, we're not surprised by the hieroglyphic, glyph, hieroglyphs of the ancient Maya depict chocolate being poured for rulers and gods. Even though, sorry, even through the many voyages of Columbus, the bean remained nothing more than a strange currency of the native peoples until becoming popularised by Louis the... 14th. Louis the 14th. Sorry, it took me a while there. Moving through centuries, the circular journey of the cake, 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 ah, uh, I can say it, I just can't. Cake cow? Yeah. Cake cow? Cake cow? Yeah. Has been realised in our brewing house, encompassing the complexity of the darkest, bittersweet candy together with the original frothy cold beverage of the mayor. To bring to you our Blackwater series chocolate stout. Pardon me. We have combined the finest ingredients to tempt your senses and renew the power and interrelation of history in every bottle. Give them the website as well. www.southerntierbrewing.com. Check that out. Okay, Mrs. Realel, guys. Fire away with the rating. I do have to say. I preferred the mocha. Mmm. Interesting. I mean, this is still pretty, pretty good. Something that we can it's hold of. Pretty damn sexy in my eyes. This it's pretty damn sexy, really is. 
I tried uh, to give it a rating because I can't remember what rating I gave the mocha. Just give it a rating. Give well, it a I rating. can't. Well, but it is very good. I'm gonna give this a rating. I wish I, I wish I had more fingers. Hmm. Ten. Ten out of ten. Easily, easily. Um, give a ten to the Bengali Tiger by Six Point Brewing. It was a totally different style of beer. It was a hoppy IPA. This is probably, or no, not probably, is the best stout I have tried to date. This, after two years of reviewing on YouTube, I've re reviewed quite a number of stouts, and this is the number one stout that I've reviewed on this on this channel. It's just wonderful. The only the only minor thing that I would say is. Um, I would be able to drink probably one bottle of it, preferably to share it, I'd say, to share yeah. the bottle, but that would be enough. It's certainly not a session beer, but that's not... But it's 10% and you know what yeah. it is. That's not taking anything away from this beer at all. I don't... Yeah, exactly. Good point. It's not about sessioning this beer, it's no. 10%. It's about enjoying one bottle, either with with friends or... I think I've had a, if I had a group of friends, I'd get two bottles in and pour some out. Yeah. So certainly it's a good sharing beer. So um, thanks, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Fantastic beer. Thank you for sharing such a great, great quality beer with us. You can follow Mrs. Real Ale Guide on youtube.com forward slash Mrs. Real Ale Guide, all lowercase. Um, myself is real ale guide at googlemail.com email facebook is facebook.com forward slash real ale craft beer twitter is twitter.com forward slash real ale today but thanks for watching subscribe if you like cheers <laughs>